And now, America's favorite hunting couple, Ralph and Vicki C. and Cerullo. Welcome to this week's Archer's Choice. This week, we're going down to Mexico. Mexico for yeah. those big white tails. Those big white tails. Uh-huh, and we had a great time. You know, Rusty and Bubba, and it was just awesome. But I got to tell you, getting down there it can is be a, a little tad hairy. bit of a little different experience. Mm -hmm. I mean, we got, um, I think there was two times we got pulled over. Two check stations. Two check stations. Yeah. And they all have these, you know, fully automatic rifles, and... They all look younger than us, and it was a little scary, huh? But it was cool. Wasn't it, it was cool, and, and we have a great show this week, so yeah. So we can't wait to show you Mexico Hawatales. You like that? I was practicing that. Yeah, stay with your day job. <laughs> we're in Mexico, and we're getting pulled over just to check everything. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Want us to get out? Yeah. Well, we just got through a checkpoint. Pretty cool. They um they had a lot more um weaponry hit over our hoi bows, that's for sure. I think they were all fully automatic rifles and um, they didn't understand any English, <laughs> what we said. <laughs> so we really thank goodness. <laughs> because, you know, we might have been uh, locked up on that fence or there somewhere. And, and I chickened out and wouldn't film and it. And Vicky would not film it. Can you believe this? We got our little, little camcorder just to get some of this excitement so we don't really cause a lot of commotion. <laughs> and I mean, we're in Mexico and, well, <laughs> We ain't got locked up yet. We're happy. We just, uh, man, it's, it's rough here. Sleeping in the nylon tent, it's about 95 degrees. We're sweating. Um, we're eating on a little picnic bench type of thing that's, well. Let me show you. Let me show you. We've got to hike about, well, about an hour and a half to get to the lodge. Oh, did I tell you there's a pool? Here, let me just let me just take you guys in here because like I said, it, it, it's been so difficult roughing it. And, you know, it's, you know, here's the picnic table that we're eating on. Oh, did I show you? The kitchen <laughs> and look at they have their bodyguard <laughs> now let me show you like I said this the wall tent it's a wall tent that we're staying in and uh, I mean this is I, I wish you guys were here because we are roughing it it's, it's pretty rough <laughs> Hey guys. Thank you. I hope you guys are editing very well because Ralph? Bubba. Guys, it's rough. <laughs> I mean, we're, um, we can't yeah, understand it. It just. I, I think Mexico and, and and Archer's Choice can really get into this, huh, Bubba? We got a year contract, man. We're not coming back. Mmm. Yes, we're roughing. Welcome back to the Archer's Choice. Let's check out Bubba as he does a spot and stalk on a Mexico whitetail. See? Yeah. See? All right. Th 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 that's one of the deer that we want to take, Rusty. Yeah. Here's the deal on that deer. It's a four-year-old. Doesn't quite have the genetics that we're looking for. Rather not feed him anymore. So let's try to do a stalk on that, see if we can't get up close enough. If you get a shot, good broadside shot, go ahead and try to take it. I think we got the wind right, so all we have to do is move real slow. They have a hot doe out there. They're paying more attention to her okay. than they are uh, anything else. So I think we can do this stalk. And, uh, yeah, I said, dear, I want to get out of here, so let's see what we can do. Okay, so you sure he's old enough? He's definitely one we won't take out. I think it's a four-year-old. Okay, so how, cagey, how cagey are y'all's deer? Do I... 
to be pretty stocky, stealthy here. Uh, well, we need to be stealthy. They're whitetails, okay. but uh, they're pretty focused on that doe over there. And I think with uh, the rut being where it is right now, these deer aren't the wildest deer. I think we can do a good stalk. Okay, well, the wind feels like it's perfect. It's perfect. So I'm going to work down through here. And Hopefully I can get them, get a shot on We got the wind in our face and we have the sun in our back, so I think it's gonna work very well. That'd be perfect. Let's do it. Pretty good hit on him. I tell you what, we shot him, made a good, perfect hit on him. I tell you, he went running this way, he didn't go about 20 yards. I tell you what, we put a stalk on him, made a good shot on him. This is the kind of buck we want to take out of here. We're trying to do a management program. And I tell you what, I couldn't be more proud of a good, mature buck. It's one we needed to take out of the herds. Our goal from the beginning has been to have the highest quality, low fence, natural genetic deer herd in the world. I mean, like most hunters, all my life has been the quest uh, for finding bigger deer. You see the big deer in the magazines, uh, they, they excite you and you wonder, you know, why am I not ever seeing anything like that? And uh, then somewhere in that dream, I realized that the only possible way to grow deer like that was to grow them myself. The opportunity came to buy a ranch one day and a friend of mine needed to sell his property. I bought it, uh, joined a partnership with a close friend of mine and we set out on a quest to grow the biggest whitetails we could. Learned a lot along the way. We had, um, we bought the bags of feed, we bought the bags of seed that had the big bucks on them, but at the end of the day what we discovered is it's the fundamentals. Just like football, it's the blocking and tackling. The fundamentals are age, nutrition, and genetics. Genetics are a given. Um, nutrition is easy enough to take care of, but it takes commitment. Age is the real key. The deer have to reach maturity, which what we're finding in this country is six or seven years old uh, for them to really fully express what they're capable of. What we see is a, a big leap at four. Uh, when a deer is four years old, he starts to put on a, a pretty uh, impressive rack. Then five, six, they may grow some, but as they start to exit the breeding pool, we see another great big leap. So seven, eight sometimes is when their best racks are. Uh, so while we manage the nutrition very carefully, while we um, take care of the genetics as best we can, age is the one thing we really control, and you control age by controlling the trigger finger. Um, it's people management more than it is deer management, so we're very particular about which deer get harvested from the ranch. In fact, we, we almost bring video in of every deer we see so that we all can look at it and determine is this, de is this deer mature? Is he a deer that uh, we think should be harvested or should he live for another year? It's our first afternoon. We just got here to Mexico. We're hunting white tails down on the El Gato and a couple other ranches. We're hunting 35,000 private acres down here with Bubba Cross and Rusty. We just got in, we just got changed and came straight out here. We actually just got done from the archery trade show yesterday. So we're gonna sit here. His whole management game plan here is you do not, you, all you need to worry about is shooting older deer. They don't want anything under six years old shot, period, unless you're sure it's a management deer. And my management deer, they're talking, you know, six or seven point no eye guards that you know it's not gonna be a good deer. It's never gonna be more than that. 
We're going to just hang in here and see what happens. They also told us there's a lot of rattlesnakes now. There's not usually at this point in time. It's the beginning of January. But they said this year there is. Whoa. Wow, you did really good. Welcome back. I know. Yeah, whatever. Let, let's get into my hunt. Yeah, you know, that really wasn't fair. You hunted, like, almost all the time. That's because you love me. Game plan, sir. We're going to take this uh, high rack here. We're going to go put around in the front yard where the big ones are. Oh, okay. Right here, close. <laughs> that ain't right. That ain't right. Did you see all them quail just jump up and scare the tar out of me? Right there. Jeez, right there. <laughs> I, I'm dropping the microphone. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, buddy. He's a little on the red side in the front here. Oh my gosh. 
Look at him. Look at the mass on him. He's got a little kick. He is a beautiful eight point. Your beautiful. First Mexico whitetail. My first Mexico whitetail. What a beautiful buck. <sighs> Thank you, Lord. Oh, my. Last bark. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Thank you, all of you down here in Mexico and at El Gato. Welcome back to Mexico Whitetails. Well, guess what? After all of this time, me being such a wonderful husband, letting her hunt first, it's my turn. I'm getting ready to go hunting because I'm a nice guy. Meaning what? We're down here. Rusty and Klingon invited us down here in Mexico to hunt and well, posse member, Bubba Cross put it all together for us. And we let Vicky hunt first. Why? Because I'm just a really nice guy. and well learned. Did you hear oh, that? Oh, I oh it, 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 so it, sad to see. That's why you're supposed to oh. practice with your clothes on that oh, you're going to go so, hunting did you with. See that shot? Rewind that because that was, I mean, she that screwed was, that one up big time. That grabbed my jacket. That's Boy, why thanks, you should thanks. always hunt with your goodness, with your hunting. you didn't Shoot, do that like in Mexico. Hunting. Yeah, no, thank goodness, huh? <laughs> wow. Hey, listen, we want to thank everybody down in Mexico. Rusty. Cleon, Bubba, all the guys, Augustine, from, Augustine. This, I mean, that was a an experience of a lifetime, just because. And we're know, very honored and, and blessed to be able to go down there. Absolutely. For them you to know. invite us down and and to have the great because hunt it's not and the a public operation. It's right, just it's private property, and they're just great, great people down there. And to understand the management, you know, and I mean, to right. see they don't they don't start filming those deer till they're like at least three or four years old. Right. They have their list. Yep of the ones that they think are, are old enough to go ahead and take them. I mean, and, and they're I just talking seven, eight years old, so they're talking old deer. And just so you know, Rusty and Cleon, I mean, anytime you need um, those management bucks busted, call us. Yeah, at least call me. Yeah, because you know, I got a buck down there and he didn't, but I know why, because you were out there hunting quail, so it's okay. I'm gonna go get my arrow because I missed my bear. I hope you enjoyed this week's Archer's Choice. We'll see you next week, same time. Same channel. Right here on, on the, the Archer's, Archer's Choice. Choice. I hate it.